Good morning. I'm here in the city of Detroit and I am here with Antonio Nelson. This is Coney Island Chronicle and my name is Dinah. And okay, at this point I'm going to start by putting these crystal rocks in the bottom because I want to make a, uh, I'm trying to do a drainage so that once the plant is in here, the water I have somewhere to subside to in the bottom. And then I thought, because it's supposed to be a plant slash terrarium, that I would put some sand in it. This is something that uh, I really enjoy doing. A two, two color base to this. And I'm just going to lay it all around. And because it's so called terrarium. I want to just make sure that everything is kind of covered over pretty good. Started by putting uh, some glass crystals at the very bottom of this vase so that I can have drainage. And I've put the first layer of sand, which is uh, a white and green mixture. And now I'm going to add just some white sand just to make it like a two-tone and I'm going to start around the edges first because I want to fill in basically around the edges. I'm going to build the edges basically and if you see what I'm doing I'm just taking this because in the long run dirt is going on top of this and we just want to make sure it's got enough sand in the bottom so that you can see it. You can see the two layers before we add the dirt. And basically that's what we're doing like this. And so that's the second layer. Okay, so now I'm adding uh, some black dirt. I'm using uh, miracle Grow because miracle Grow helps grow. So we're just going to surface this, fill this in. Put this in here real good. Then that way, we got a layer of dirt. And I guess you can see the, uh, the, uh, the sand at the bottom. And from here, we're going to start building. Okay, so now I'm going to take this uh, Athenium. And most of these plants that I'm using, they all what you call susilates. So they, you know, have a good drainage system. And, oh, look at that root on that. Isn't that beautiful? That's just going to show you. That's a lot of growth right there. And the whole key is, is to kind of break it up. So that the roots is going down into the dirt. And then just sit it. We're going to start like that. This is something that we're going to add to the side of the plant. And it's called succulents. And what it is, it's just a, it's a filler. It's a filler and it's also a runner. So it's going to run alongside these edges. Which is going to make it really look pretty when it's all said and done. 
All right, this is another plant. It's also a runner. And I'm going to put this one on the opposite side of this jar. This is an alvero plant, which is kind of uncommon for a terrarium, but I figure it'll bring some life. This is something that you can also use when you have a cut or a burn. Then we're going to add this plant. It is um, one in here. And still, once again, all of this is just what you call foliage. And it's going to just help fill the plant in. Last flower going in. So it basically, this plant has about seven different uh, species inside of it. And you know, the owner has the option once they get it to separate it. Okay, now I'm going to take time and I'm just going to add a little green glow, which is a leaf shiner. And it really makes the plant more and just just give it a beautiful shine okay so now what I'm going to do is add some water because you want to make sure it's got enough water in here that you know for the, at least at least the next two weeks, perhaps. The owner won't have to worry about watering it. Okay. All right, so it, it's for someone's birthday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this right here. And let's add a little bit more water. Just so everything can have some water in it. 